Some days I flip my lid, learning to be a calm, cool kid. Oh yes, I hope he learns to be a calm, cool kid. My name is Max and I am eight. I'm in the third grade and some days are great. On days that are great, my brain feels just right. I had a yummy breakfast and I slept through the night. When my brain is just right, I can listen and learn. I'm okay in school and I don't feel concerned. But then there are days when that don't go so well because some days I flip my lid. Oh no, let's see how he feels. Flipping my lid means I lose my cool and my learning gets tricky when I'm in school. This can happen on days when I don't sleep just right because I tossed and I turned in my bed all night. I toss and I turn when I'm worried or sad, embarrassed, confused, or just plain mad. So he's not getting a good night's sleep there. When I flip my lid, things happen to me that can change how I learn and listen and see. My skin, my face gets blotchy and my body feels tight. I say mean things and sometimes fight. My knees get wobbly and I can't breathe. I want to run away or sometimes I freeze. Do these things ever happen to you? Do you flip your lid? Do you lose your cool? See the question marks? He's asking questions. Do these things ever happen to you? On days when I get mad, I flip my lid and I fight. It's never okay and it never feels right. When I fight, I'm like a tiger and I'm ready to spring. I roar with my words when my friend wants the swing. Oh, he should have just given his friend a turn, huh? I really don't like it when I fight. My brain feels tense and my fists get tight. After I fight, I still feel mad. So flipping my lid only makes me feel bad. There he is. See, his friends are having fun, but he still feels bad. My mom says tigers aren't allowed in school. She says I need to be calm and cool. There's mom talking to him. Are you ever mad when you're at school? Do you flip your lid? Do you lose your cool? See the question marks again? Are you ever mad when you are at school or at home? Some days I flip my lid when I'm confused or upset. I sit in my seat and I worry and fret. On days like this, my brain isn't okay. I just want to run or fly far away. So he can't really focus. See, he's really worrying and confused. Running is also called flight. I do this on days when my head feels too light. When I'm in flight, I'm like a balloon. I soar high and free. I bounce in the air above the tall trees. But it's not like the fun kind of, you know, flying. Sometimes you can imagine flying and it's fun. But look at his face. He just really wants to get away. And his friends are like, no. <laughs> I really don't like when I fly. When I settle back down, I just want to cry. And after a while, my balloon shrinks and it pops. And I'm still confused and upset and the worry won't stop. My mom says balloons aren't allowed in school, just like tigers are not. She says I need to be calm and cool. That's what mom's been trying to tell him. Are you ever confused when you're at school? Do you flip your lid? Do you lose your cool? There's those question marks. Then there are days when I'm a little afraid, my belly feels jittery and it doesn't go away. When I'm afraid, I just want to freeze. My heart starts to pound and I'm weak in the knees. He's afraid now. When I freeze, I'm like a snowman. I don't make a sound. I'm stuck in the frosty, frozen, cold ground. I really don't like it when I freeze. When my belly feels shaky and I'm weak in the knees, after a while, when I thaw back out, I'm still scared and worried, and I just want to shout. So now he's afraid. Maybe he's afraid that the teacher's going to ask him for an answer or something. My mom says snowmen aren't allowed in school. She says, what does mom always say? I need to be calm and cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he doesn't really have a snowsuit on, but that's how he feels. Feels like he was frozen with fear. Do you understand, JR and Sparkle? Yeah. Do you ever feel scared? Let's see. 
Are you ever afraid when you're at school? Do you flip your lid? Do you lose your cool? I know if I fight or freeze or run, my learning in school isn't much fun. I wish I could stop flipping my lid. I wish I could be a calm, cool kid. Let's see. Then one day, Mom and I took a walk. We sat by a pond and we had a nice talk. You guys have a pond by your house. She told me all we... She told me, we all have days when we're sad or scared or worried or just plain mad. She said flipping my lid is not a good, is not a good way to learn and grow in school each day. But she's saying we all have those days when we're sad or scared or worried or just mad. But we can't flip our lid. Yeah, let's see what mom says. Mom taught me a new way to deal when I fret. So I won't flip my lid when I'm scared or upset. It's called mindful breathing and it's pretty cool. It's a way to calm down when I'm at home, when I'm home or in school. Hmm. Mom said it's a choice if I fight, run, or freeze. I can choose calm and cool whenever I please. So you can choose to be a tiger or fly away or freeze. But mom says better to choose to be calm and cool. Let's see what they do, this taking a breath. The trick, she said, was to notice and see when I start feeling mad or shake in my knees. She told me to notice when my eyes start to close and then breathe on purpose right through my nose. Breathing on purpose is simple and neat. Hmm. It helps me relax and it can be done in my seat. It's one mindful way to help me feel safe. I can do it whenever, anytime, any place. Here's how to do it. Here's how it's done. It all begins with breath number one. I'm still while I breathe. So I don't want to... Oh, sorry. I'm still while I breathe. That's part of the fun. This helps me settle so I don't want to run. I focus my eyes or just one place. I breathe in and out while the red leaves my face. I breathe in and out as my eyes open wide. Then my body and brain can calm down inside. He looks much happier now that he's learned this trick. Taking three mindful breaths a few moments each day helps me stay focused in a whole new way. Taking three mindful breaths stills my brain and my heart, which is a really good place for my learning to start. Even the teacher is taking a breath break. See? Breathe break. One, two, three. Oh, breath. Breath break. They're taking three breaths. So the next time I feel like losing my cool or flipping my lid when I'm home or in school, I'll notice my feelings as they come my way. I'll breathe on purpose and watch my thoughts drift away. Watch his anxious thoughts drift away. Remember, some days are tricky and other days are fun. But no matter what, we can choose not to run. We can decide not to fight or fly away too. Because breathing on purpose keeps our brain calm and cool. Would you like to try it too? Yes! Take deep breaths if you're feeling scared or anxious, nervous, any of those things. 